Hello, students. Welcome to National Science and Technology for the Classroom 2, NST1502. My name is Patricia Porto from the Department of Science and Technology Education. This is what I'll be presenting in this video. What is a portfolio? Where do you find it? And how to write it? So please pay attention because this is going to assist you. This video looks at assessment three, which is your portfolio. I will explain how you should compile it. It is also important to work ahead of time in order to have sufficient time to make necessary queries, consultations, and changes. I repeat, it is important to work ahead of time in order to have enough time to make necessary queries, consultations, and changes. Remember, working late is always risky. You rather work ahead of time. Okay. Um, what is a portfolio? I I have I've received this question so many times. Generally, generally speaking, a portfolio of evidence is a collection of documents that you must compile to show competence against a set of learning outcomes, as well as present required evidence. For this particular module, NST1502, you are required to compile a portfolio of evidence. In order to guide you on this process, assessment three, which is your portfolio, is made up of a number of activities available in your study guide and in your tutorial letter 101. Where to find the portfolio? Again, I've received this question so many times. Students have asked where can they find their portfolio. This portfolio is available in your tutorial letter 101 on page 13. Uh, also, they have shown a screenshot of exactly where you can find it. It's on point 9.7, the examination. The portfolio is also available in NST1502 study guide, but that is where you find some of your activities, not all of them. But do not worry, I'm going to take you through how to write this portfolio. You, you will understand more there. How to write the portfolio. This portfolio is divided into two sections, section A and section B. So in order for you to say you have completed your portfolio, you are ready for your portfolio to be graded in order for you to pass this module, since this portfolio is, in your, is your exam, you must submit two sections, section A and section B. Let me take you through section A. Section A consists of activity 1.1, which is for 20 marks. Activity 1.3, which is for 10 marks. Activity 1.7, which is for 20 marks. Activity 2.6, the first one, which is 10 marks. Activity 2.16, 10 marks as well. So let me take you through each and every activity in order for you to understand it further. Activity 1.1 is for 20 marks, and 20 marks is a lot of marks. You don't want to lose marks here. So please pay attention to what I'm going to explain. This is what the question requires. Have you ever wondered how traditional healers discover their medicines and how Western medical doctors discover their medicine? Hmm. Do a bit of research and write a two-page report on how traditional healers and Western medical doctors discover their medicines. Pay particular attention to the process they follow to discover new medicines. So in this question, you are required to write a report and your report must be a two page report. So it's up to you on how you can write this report. You can either uh, focus on the first one, which is traditional healers, in one page, talk about traditional healers and discuss how do they discover their medicine. So it means here you have to do research. The second page now, you can focus on the Western medical doctors, talk about how they discover their medicine. And maybe also uh, in conclusion, you can uh, now compare the two uh, doctors and, 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 and now differentiate them, state a few differentiations. And since it's a report, it means you must write it in a past tense. So I hope everyone understand this uh, activity 1.1. Now let's move to activity 1.3. This is for 10 marks. Here, this is the most straightforward one. You just have to define 10 concepts. 
You are given 10 concepts, define them. Activity 1.7, again, is for 20 marks. You don't want to find yourself losing marks here. So it is very, very important to follow the instructions and do as asked. This is what the question says. There are many careers related to human body and health. Underline human body and health. Do a legal research and state 20 different careers and their description. So here, what you are expected to do is to state 20 different careers and then describe those careers. And they must be related to human body and health. You know, with human body, we are not talking about you giving an example of gym instructors. You know, they must be for the context of human body and health. And if you want to further understand this context, as you on page, um, okay, uh, let me start this slide again. I'm starting this slide again. Activity 1.7. Activity 1.7 is for 20 marks. So in this activity, you must pay special attention to what you are required to do. There are many careers related to human body and health. Do a little research and state 20 different careers and their job description. So in other words, you are going to state 20 careers and then you have to describe each career. What does a person da do in that specific career? And please, they must be related to human body and health. If you want to understand the context of human health and of, of human body and health, you must go to activity 1.7 and check the context in the study guide, what it talks about. I don't want to see things such as the gym, gym um, instructors. So that is not based on the human body and health. That is not based on the context of, the, of this section as well. So read further in your study guide in order to understand what exactly are you needed. And this is for 20 marks. So please students, ensure that you do not lose marks here. Let's go to activity 2.6, the first one. I have emphasized that the first one because in your study guide, we have two activity 2.6. So please focus on the first one and it's only for 10 marks. And you'll find this activity on page 59. I've even inserted a page there just to ensure that you do not make a mistake. Uh, in this activity, it's very straightforward. You can't make a mistake here. You just use the correct answer. Let's move on. Activity 2.16, this is also for 10 marks. What you are expected to do is to discuss the historical beliefs about eclipses in relation to your culture. In your culture, what does an eclipse of any type mean to your context? How do this belief relate to IKS? Are there still practices in your culture that are related to eclipses? So now what I did, I've just put this in a form of A, B, C. This is not available in your study guide, but then it is there in the question. So I'm trying to make things easier for you on how you can answer this question. Number A, you can start by answering the question, what does an eclipse of any type mean to your context in your culture? Then you explain in your culture, what does it mean? You can do this in two sentences, in three sentences, or in a paragraph. Number two, how do these beliefs relate to the indigenous knowledge system? And then you explain how do the beliefs relate to indigenous knowledge system. And in order for you to be able to answer it, go back and research about IKS. What is IKS? Then that's when you can relate uh, the, those beliefs with IKS. Number three, are there still practices in your culture that are related to eclipses? Do your research, ask around, and check if are there any practices in your culture that are related to eclipses. So it's very important for you to do research and also ask questions from old people and then you relate to it. And again, students, you assign students. You cannot say, no, in my culture, we do not uh, believe in any eclipses or I'm a Christian, I don't believe in eclipses or I'm a Muslim, and I'm a Muslim, I don't believe in eclipses. No, you, you can't say that. You are a science teacher, be creative, answer these questions. Okay, let's move to the next slide. Section B. I hope everyone understood section A and we are happy with that. 
Now let's move on to section B. Which section B, it consists of three questions. Question one, question two, and question three. So there are three questions. And these questions, they are straightforward and they are found in your tutorial letter 101. They are not in your study guide, they are in tutorial letter 101. Okay. So what are you expected to do in this uh, section? So question one, 1.1 1 .1 says, what enables life to exist for three marks? So state, state three things, you know, that enables life to exist and ensure that whatever that you have stated is very clear. Don't just say hydrosphere and expect to get full marks or say lithosphere and then you leave it like that, you know? So please just explain. Um, yes, maybe you can say something like water enables life to, to, to exist. Those are the examples. So that's how you can answer it. 1.2. I have received so many questions with regards to 1.2. I hope my explanation is going to be clear. So with 1.2, you are given column A and column B. And column A, it has the points point one, 1.2.1, 1.2.2, 1.2.3, and so on. But column B does not. So it can be quite confusing for the students on how they can do it. So I have I've showed you there at the bottom that you can say 1.2.1, the answer is the earliest what, 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 what. So you take it from the, the earliest stage of a star life. 1.1, that is an answer, if that is an answer. This is an example. And then you go on 1.2.2. The answer is a star left at the core of a planetary nebula. That is an answer, you see? So that's how you can do it until 1.2.7. But another way you can do it, you can do it by arrows. That's how other students, they prefer to do it. To do it. They draw the column A and the column B, as it is, and they say, okay, nebula, the answer is there. Supernova, the answer is there. Protosta, the answer is there. So it depends on how you can prefer it. You can do it as long as it makes sense, then I'm fine with that. Other students, what they do is, which I, I didn't show here, they uh, write column A. Then after writing column A, on column B, they write the correct answer. So that is also okay. So you can still draw the two columns and say 1.2.1 black dwarf, the answer is a red giant star. So with this red uh, super giant star, you take it and then you write it there. The white dwarf, maybe the answer is the early stage and then you write it there. So it's up to you and I hope my explanation has given you ideas on how we can write this section. Okay, section B also consists of question two and question three, which are the last questions. So with this questions, question 2.2, it says, talk to three people who speak different languages and answer the questions. So students, please, please ensure that you investigate. You are a science teacher. You can't be taking answers from the study guide or from the internet and then writing them. How are you going to come up with different investigations in your own classroom? So please talk to three different people about the languages that they, they speak, and then they should answer the questions that you are asked in your uh, tutorial letter 101. The question is there, complete the, the, the questions as you are asked. Please, 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 please investigate. Question three says, discuss three important discoveries, discoveries in astronomy. Question three says, discuss three important discoveries in astronomy, and then this is for six marks. So what do you have to do here? You just state the discovery. Maybe the discovery is that the cups are black, and you say the cups are black, and then after that, you explain that discovery. You go to number two, maybe is that the sun is green. The discovery is that the sun is green. And then you explain the discoveries and you do like that with the other one as well. So I really hope here we're not going to have difficulties. Okay, the due date for this portfolio, I've got question as well, is the 1st of September. Please, 1st of September, ensure that you uh, submit. Okay, so I'm going to start the slide again. Um, okay, section B it continues. 
It consists of question two and question three. So with question two, you are requested to talk to three different people who speak different languages, and then you answer the questions as you are asked. Please, students, please investigate. You are a science teacher. You need to investigate. And trust me, if you take this from the internet or from the study guide, I'm going to find out. You need to investigate and write all those answers that you got. That is very important. Note it down, investigate. Question three, you are requested to discuss three important discoveries in astronomy. So what you're going to do, the easiest, way, the easiest way of doing it is to state the discovery and then after that, you explain it. You state another discovery, you explain. You state another, you explain. You can't write one sentence and say that is explaining. That is definitely not explaining. In, ensure that you, you give the in-depth explaining. Can be a paragraph of maybe three or four sentences. That is okay. Also note that the due date for this portfolio is the 1st of September, 2022. Do not submit late. No exception will be given. This portfolio is your examination. Therefore, you can ask for a full extension. You can come up with excuses. Submit on time. Okay, let's move on. Um, should you have any questions with regards to this portfolio? I have opened a discussion forum on module platform. Please post the questions there and ensure that you, you answer them. All the questions that were asked on the platform, I have uh, elaborated them in this presentation. Therefore, I hope that everything, everyone has got their answers. But should you have more questions, please feel free to ask them on the Moodle platform. You can also send me an email. I'm very active. I answer the emails within 24 hours. Thank you so much, students. Thank you.